The holiday season is upon us and for many that means going to different festivities, parties, hanging out with family. So in today's video I'm going to share with you some fragrances that I think would be perfect for holiday festivities and I'm going to include different varieties of things like parties, intimate gatherings, that type of thing. So if you're interested then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So like I said, the fragrances that we're going to talk about today are going to be perfect for all types of holiday gatherings. These will be in no particular order. I'm just going to grab from my little pile here. So the first fragrance that I have is Amouage Overture Woman. This fragrance is absolutely stunning. Now I typically wear this out on date nights, but this is definitely a contender for my holiday festivities. As you're watching this video, I'm actually going to a holiday party tonight. Um, so make sure you watch my very next video where I show you all the fragrances I'm wearing for the week so you can see what I ended up going with. But all the ones in this video are definitely contenders for what I'm going to wear. I actually have not decided at the point where I'm filming this video. Anyway, Overture Woman is a beautiful boozy scent. So this has either dark rum or cognac it's definitely like a darker sweeter liquor mixed with some fruity notes when i smell this it kind of smells like plum could be a note in here but i'm pretty sure it's not it also kind of smells like apple could be a note in here but not in the sweet apple pie way that has become a little bit more popular it kind of just smells like more like red apple it's really hard to pick out notes on this but think darker fruits or dried fruits mixed with some boozy notes. And then there's definitely a leathery feel to this fragrance. I'm not sure if leather is an actual note in this fragrance or if it's saffron, but it could go either way. For me, sometimes saffron leaves a bit leathery, um, just depending on the fragrance. And that's what it kind of smells like to me. But you know, I could be wrong. If you are a newcomer to this channel, I like to talk about fragrances based on what I smell. I'm just a perfume enthusiast. I am not an expert. So I talk about what I smell, but I always list the notes for you guys if you're interested. So um, I think what I smell is saffron in this, but I could be completely wrong. <laughs> Anyway, this is absolutely beautiful. It's thick and heavy, but it's not too much. It's not overwhelming in my opinion, but it is quite sexy. And I think this would work perfectly well for lots of different holiday occasions. To me, there's something holiday-ish about it. I think it's a boozy note in this. And so I could see myself wearing this to a holiday party, whether that be a big party, a small party. I could see myself wearing this out to a nice dinner with friends or other couples. The only type of holiday gathering I probably wouldn't wear this to is if it was just gonna be very casual, very laid back, because I do think of this as more of a dressy scent. This is not one that I typically wear around the house. So again, that is Amouage Overture Woman. The next fragrance is Guerlain Spiritueuse Double Vanille. Now I just talked about this in a vanilla video that I did. I will link it for you all. But if you want to know about this fragrance and a fragrance that's very similar to it, definitely check that video out. However, I picked this because it is a beautiful vanilla that's not too sweet. It's very sophisticated. It's a little bit boozy, a little bit smoky. And I think it's perfect for pretty much any occasion. So I think I would choose something like this if I was going to a more intimate family gathering, even on Christmas day, like this is just there's something so beautiful about this, but it's not too out there. So if you're going to a party and you're not the type that likes to stand out, you're more of the wallflower type, nothing wrong with that. But if you're more of that type, something like this would be unique enough around most people. Um, I mean, if you're going to a frat con party, probably not. <laughs> But in most real life situations, something like this will be unique enough, but not screaming, I'm here. But when people come up and give you hugs, they will smell it on you. They will notice it smells quite luxurious. And I think that's what makes it perfect for holiday gatherings. So again, that is Spiritueuse Double Vanille from Guerlain. Next up is an oldie but a goodie, and this is Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. So this is a beautiful tobacco and vanilla scent. You have to like tobacco and you have to like vanilla to like this. Now the tobacco in here, it smells a little bit smoky, but it's more so just very spicy, a little sweet, and 
beautiful. There's other spices in this fragrance as well. I believe cloves are one of the spices in this and possibly cinnamon or nutmeg, but it gives me Christmas vibes. I actually wore this to a Christmas party a few years ago. And so whenever it comes to be around this time of year, I actually think of this scent and remember that party. So I love having that scent memory because I had an amazing time there. <laughs> But um, yeah, so this is always a contender for me for a holiday party because to me, it gives me holiday vibes and it's perfect for colder weather. I think the type of party I would wear this to is either a larger party or a smaller party with friends like my age friends. I probably wouldn't wear this around my family that's older just because I feel like for some people it could be a little bit bothersome and I'm never trying to bother anybody anywhere I go. So <laughs> it's beautiful, definitely 100% unisex. So if you are a man watching my videos, this is one that you should get your nose on if you have not already. So again, that is Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. Since we're on Tom Ford, I might as well go ahead and get this one out of the way. This is Black Orchid and this is the Parfum version. So, I hate putting this fragrance in videos at this point because I feel like I have talked about it so much over the years, whether it be the original EDP or this newer parfum version, I've talked about them a lot. They're in my top 10 of all fragrances, so therefore I've mentioned it a lot. However, I could not do this video without including this fragrance because I feel like this is a perfect party scent. If you wanna stand out, if you wanna be noticed, you can wear this. Now I know Black Orchid has been around forever. Tons of people know about it, but I still find that whenever I wear this, I'm the only person wearing it. And people may be able to pick it out and say, oh, you're wearing Black Orchid, but it's not so popular that I smell it everywhere I go. And it's very polarizing. So if you love this fragrance and you feel confident in it, I think this will be great for a holiday party or any party really. So again, that is Tom Ford Black Orchid Parfum. The next fragrance is from Maison Francis Kirkjean and this is Grand Soir. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe Grand Soir translates to like Grand Night. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, but that should tell you that this is perfect for a special night. Now this is a beautiful ambery vanilla scent. The notes make it seem simple, but it is done to perfection. This is definitely my favorite amber scent. It's not too heavy, it's not too thick, it's not too overpowering, and it's not too sweet. This one is perfectly unisex in my opinion, but I have heard some women say that this leans masculine on them. I would say that if you've smelled this and not tried it on your skin, definitely try it on your skin because I know a lot of people have been converted. They thought it was masculine, then they sprayed it on, and five minutes later, they were in love, okay? <laughs> so definitely try this on your skin if you're interested in it. But this to me is perfect for holiday festivities because it's not too much, but it is still quite noticeable. It's long lasting. So if you're gonna be out from dusk to dawn, this is gonna last you pretty much that entire time. But at the same time, it's not like in your face. It's pleasant for others around you while still being quite noticeable. I actually find this scent a little bit cozy as well. So I wear this to bed sometimes just because I really love the way it makes me feel. It's a very enveloping scent, but at the same time, it does doesn't give me like sleepy time vibes. So I definitely would still wear this out at night or during the day if I was going somewhere special. So again, that is Maison Francis Kirkjean Grand Soir. This next fragrance is probably the most popular holiday fragrance for this year and probably last year too, but this is none other than Killian Angel Share. So I love this fragrance. I don't wear it enough, but it's still a contender for me to wear to a holiday party because it screams holidays. This is that boozy apple pie scent. It's sweet, it's spicy, and it's boozy. Honestly gives me Thanksgiving vibes. <laughs> I actually wore this on Thanksgiving, not this year, but last year, 2021. But I think it works for any type of special occasion, honestly. It's just that good, y'all. It's not gonna be for everybody because it is on the sweeter side and it does have that boozy note. But I think this is perfect for holiday festivities and I think it's really popular for a reason. And although this is super popular on the internet, I still think that it's unique enough that if you wore it to a party around regular people, you're probably not gonna smell anybody else smelling like this. So again, that is Angel Share by Killian. This next fragrance is another one from Killian and this is Apple Brandy. Now this is the original Apple Brandy, not the new Apple Brandy on the rocks. This is discontinued, but I still wanted to mention it because I think it's perfect for holidays. 
This smells like straight apple brandy. I don't, I've never had apple brandy. I don't even know if that's a thing, but think a boozy apple liquor scent. <laughs> This is one that I wouldn't wear to work. It's that kind of liquor scent. So polarizing, but I happen to love it. It also has a bit of a woodiness in the background. So it's not all liquor, but you have to be comfortable with smelling like alcohol to wear this. So I think it's perfect for a fun holiday party where the drinks might be flowing, like you're just gonna blend right on in. And I feel like it just gives you fun times vibes. So I actually may wear this to my holiday party. I'll have to wait and see, but I'm definitely thinking about it. This is one that I don't wear randomly just because it does smell like alcohol. I kind of reserve it for going out party type atmosphere. So again, that is Apple Brandy by Killian. This next fragrance is from Kayali and this is Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli. So this is a newer fragrance from Kayali that has been all over the internet. I myself have a whole video on this, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time, but this is a beautiful, spicy, boozy patchouli and vanilla scent. I think it's gorgeous, I think it's complex, and I think this would be perfect for any type of holiday gathering because it is noticeable, it has really great projection and longevity, but again, the edges are all round of this. This is a smooth fragrance, so it's not gonna punch people in the face. I don't think it's gonna offend everybody, but you definitely will stand out wearing this, and I can guarantee you most of the people that you're gonna be hanging out with are probably not wearing this, never heard of this, and we'll compliment you on it. So again, that is Kayali Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli. This next fragrance is from House of Siage, and this is Passion de l'Amour. So this fragrance is beautiful, and it actually reminds me of the holidays because I think the first time that I wore this out, it was to my business's holiday dinner. We did a holiday dinner for all our employees, and I wore this, and I felt like it was perfect. It was a really fun night. So now I associate it with that fun time. But anyway, this is a beautiful, smooth, oud scent. The oud in this is definitely noticeable. If you're not a fan of oud, you still should smell this because it's really well done. I think it's a pretty easygoing oud, and then it's mixed with this sweetness that kind of smells like caramel. And then there's some fruity tones in the background, I think. I can't really pick them out. This is all just very well blended, very well done, quite unique of a scent. And they actually have a men's version of this. I think it's called liaisons de passion i can't not remember i will pop a picture up for you guys but my husband actually wears that quite a bit and it smells amazing too it smells kind of like this original passion de l'amour but it's a little bit brighter a little All bit right. i apologize if the lighting or angle or anything is different my camera battery died which is super annoying but here we are i'm back <laughs> And I think I was talking about the newer version of Passion de Labor. And basically what I was getting down to is that if you are going to like a couple's holiday dinner or you're doing something together as a couple, I think that pair would be amazing together if y'all are just trying to be like a force to be reckoned with. Like I'm actually, now that I'm saying this out loud, I'm actually thinking this is a very strong contender for my holiday party that I'm going to because I'm wearing pajamas and I didn't tell my husband which pajamas I got for the party, but he went and bought the same pajamas. So we're going to be matching. So I kind of feel like maybe we should do the whole fragrance matching thing as well. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, Passion Day with More is beautiful. Definitely worth the hype. Definitely still very unique though. So you're not going to smell like anybody else in the room. So again, that is House of Siage Passion Day with More. This next fragrance is one that I don't talk about as much, but I still love it. This is Mancera Instant Crush. Now, this has been compared to Baccarat Rouge 540, and I do agree they are similar, but definitely not the same. So this is a sweet saffron scent. It also smells like there are some other spices in here and some woodiness to it. And it does kind of have a bit of that airy sweetness like Baccarat Rouge 540 has. However, if you think about the way BR 540, the original is, it's very, to me, it's very light and airy and transparent. This one is much, much more dense, much thicker, and I don't go nose blind to this one like I do the 540 EDP. I'm not saying that one is better than the other. I'm just saying that for a holiday party, I think this will be perfect because 
540 is so popular now and it's very popular on the internet i personally don't smell it a lot around me but i could imagine if i was going to a holiday party people are pulling out like their best fragrance and for a lot of people 540 is their best fragrance so i could imagine i would smell it there but i think that nobody would be wearing instant crush and it's different enough that it can give you that 540 feeling but more um so yeah <laughs> i love instant crush and i know on the internet i hear a lot of mixed reviews a lot of people don't like this some people say it leans too masculine blase squase however in real life i don't know if i've ever worn this fragrance without getting a compliment so it smells good on me i can't speak for everybody else but on me people love it okay so i definitely would consider wearing this to a holiday gathering of any type really if you guys don't know, I am more of the reserved type. I know I do YouTube, but I am quite shy in real life. And even when it comes to being around my friends, I can be a little bit reserved at times. However, there are times that I want to stand out. And when I want to stand out, bam. <laughs> This is Initio Oud for Greatness. This is not a wallflower scent, okay? This is, I'm here, you see me, I'm ready to party, you're gonna smell me before I walk in the door. It's that type of scent. Because of that, I have to be in the mood to wear this. Like, I love to smell this. I sniff this quite often, but I have to be in the mood or really examine the situation before I actually wear it because it is a lot. So this is a very potent, sweet saffron scent. It does have oud in here, but the oud in here is very smooth. It's very likable. It is present for sure. But if I had to pick, I think this would probably be my favorite oud scent out of my entire collection. Now, this is in your face. It's a lot. Some people say this leans masculine. I happen to think it leans perfectly unisex, but I will say when I first smelled this, I did think it leaned masculine, but when I sprayed it on my skin, not so much. Every time I wear this, I get compliments on this. So apparently people like it on me and that's compliments from men and women on this. So I love this. I know this is a popular fragrance, but again, because of the price point, I feel like if you're going out with like just regular people, I ain't talking about if you go out with a bunch of rich friends, I don't know what they're wearing, okay? If you're hanging out with the wealthy, well-to-do, old money people, I have no idea what they're wearing, okay? But if you're hanging out with your regular friends, um, they're probably not wearing this because I think most people don't want to spend almost $400 on a fragrance. And unless they're really into fragrances, this is probably not even across their radar. And you're going to smell amazing. I actually wore this to a holiday party as well before and the compliments just kept rolling in. So again, that is Initio Oud for Greatness. This next fragrance is from Tiziana Terenzi and this is Hellbop. So I did a video all about this fragrance. I will link it for you all. So if you want to know all the details, definitely check that video out. But this is a beautiful, more formal scent. So when I smell this, I get like a vanilla taco mix with some herbal and aromatic touches. To me, it kind of smells like lavender is in this fragrance, but if I remember correctly, I think that's sage that I'm smelling. I don't know, but it kind of smells like a green lavender tonka vanilla mix. It's really well done. It's quite unique. It's heavy, it's long lasting, it's projecting, but it's still very pleasant to wear and does not give me a headache. This smells very dressy in my opinion, although I have worn this casually, but it does smell dressy in my opinion. So if I was going somewhere like a uh, corporate holiday party or something like that, I think this would be a really nice scent to wear. I probably wouldn't wear this to just my normal family gathering, but somewhere a little bit more upscale, um, maybe a very fancy restaurant, situations like that, I think this will work perfectly. So again, that is Tiziana Terenzi Hailbop. The last fragrance that I have is Dior Privé Tobacco Lore. So I'm not sure that this screams holidays, but for me, I love this scent and I don't get to wear it very often because it's not really cold enough here to wear it on a regular. So I feel like this is definitely a contender for me, although it doesn't necessarily scream holidays. So this is a beautiful tobacco scent, but the tobacco is with this sweet dripping honey. This is a very sweet kind of syrupy tobacco, which that sweetness actually makes it really wearable for me in particular, because I think if it was just that tobacco without the sweetness, 
I don't know that I would find this feminine enough because the tobacco was definitely there. But this sweetness is just so freaking good. It's so good. There are some spice in here as well. But overall, this is sweet, dripping honey tobacco that is amazing, okay? And this is quite long lasting. If you live in a cold climate, you could wear this from day to night. I think for myself, I would consider wearing this to a nighttime holiday festivity or even like on Christmas day or something. If I'm having family over, I will not be. But if I were having family over, <laughs> besides like my normal people that live here, I also think this would be a good option because I can spray very lightly on this and it's not overpowering if I spray it like that. And it gives me just those cozy, stay in the house, it's cold outside vibe. This is me pretending like there's snow outside, although it's actually 80 degrees outside, y'all. This is so good, so good. This might be my Christmas day scent, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. Like now that I'm talking that up, I feel like it's gonna be because I'll have my air conditioner down low, okay? And we'll be doing all the holiday cold weather things inside my house and i think this is going to work out perfectly y'all so <laughs> again that is dior Privé tobacco lore so i know that was a lot of fragrances but i was very excited about doing this video i feel like this is a fun time of year for a lot of people i know for a lot of people though it's also a sad time of year so for those of you that find the holidays to be a sad time i really hope and pray that you can find some joy in this season and maybe focus on some good memories that you have with loved ones as opposed to just thinking about the loss and i'm saying that to myself too y'all i'm not preaching to y'all i'm preaching to myself okay <laughs> Anyway, let me know in the comments below if you have tried any of these fragrances. What do you think of them? If you have any holiday gatherings you're going to be going to, what fragrances do you have as contenders to wear? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I upload videos three times a week, so I have plenty of content on my channel. And if you're bored, go ahead and catch up on some of that now. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me over there. I like to chit chat with you guys in my stories and my DMs and just get to know you all a little bit better so definitely check me out on instagram i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye